Okay, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to put Java applications and Java games onto average mobile phones that won't normally let you install games without the internet or hacking the firmware. Um, it works with a number of mobiles. One of the most common problematic phones that I've seen around the net is the Samsung, the Toco Lite basically, which is the GT5320 I think, or 5230. Anyway, um, I know a lot of people have a hacked firmware in their phone where they can click on a Java file and it will ask you if you wish to install it and it will tell you it's not signed and you say yes and then you install and then you play and the actual program runs on the phone. The only thing with this situation is the Java built into the phone has been removed and replaced with a hacked version which I'm not actually sure how legal that is. Um, basically you can when you download the file off the internet it generally comes down to a temporary folder and then it gets moved to where you actually saved it to. That being the case, when you download the Java game, the game comes down somewhere and then installs. For your phone to install the game from that location, it must have to have the capability to run and install a jar file. And that is done through the phone's browser. Now, the really stupid thing is, I've watched tutorials where people go to euploader.com and upload a Java file and then go to m.euploader.com on their mobile and that will download the game straight into the phone free of charge at the moment that is and that said it does require the internet now if you wish to copy a jar file to your phone whether you get it sent to you by bluetooth or um, you use your data lead and you just put it in the phone and it normally turns up in the other files folder so if you go into other files and you move the java file you select move and then when it wants you to browse you go to the location in the phone where it says images videos sounds and other files and you select move and you move it into there so it's literally in the main root of the phone itself now i would recommend renaming the jar file this won't change what it installs as on the phone it will still have its original name in the menu it just makes it easier for you to type it in later so with that file there on the card all you need to know is where your card is in the phone to which I bookmarked mine to make it more simple but I will show you if you enter a URL and for the memory card first because it's simple if you've got a memory card you put more on it where on the computer you have for your hard disk you have C the two colon dots and the slash and then the likes of program files and windows and documents and settings and basically a C drive or a D drive and you put a thumb drive in you get another drive letter well you complicate the matters on the phone because the drive letter is actually the word file so if you actually have the word file and then the word mount so you've got file the two colon dots like a web address and then three forward slashes and then the word mount then another forward slash and then m m c forward slash and then the name of the file that you wish to download with the browser so on the phone the actual path is media therefore you would go to file the two dots like a web address and then three forward slashes the word media 
and then the one dot jar, which is what I've called my jar file to make it easier to find. Now this doesn't use any internet charges whatsoever. You're just telling your browser to download the game from inside the phone rather than the internet. This firmware hasn't been hacked. It's just a phone straight from the car phone warehouse. I go to bookmarks, install apps from card, it will download the app instantly. The same version exists because I've already got it installed. It's now saving. It's asking me if I wish to play. But basically, if you look at the video description underneath this actual video you're watching, there's a link to a Facebook page where you can actually copy and paste the information and make it easier for you to read. I'll try and edit this video because this is a real time recording in an empty flat somewhere in Google. So, um, yeah, basically, installing games on your phone by just using the built in browser. You will also find um, the two paths to the phone, um, one to the phone and one to the memory card. And like I said, all you do, rename your file. A little tip, because um, I know there are geeks out there that still watch stuff like this. You, you will probably know that when you have a file on the internet and there's a space in the file name, it would normally be forward slash 20 um, it's like a forward slash, a percent sign, then 20, a 2 and an O, and then another percent sign, um, and that would cover the space. On the Samsung's, their path definition is a percent sign, then the 2, and then the O, and then the next word. Um, that will also be available to look at on Facebook. Um, thanks for watching. Stop using the likes of T TK File Explorer and breaking up your phone and just put the games on your phone, browse to them with your browser and they will download and install and it's that simple. Um, click like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you want, but more importantly, can you click like on the Facebook page itself for the PC repairs. Happy gaming. Um, last but not least, I suppose, if you're looking for Java applications or Java games, your best bet is probably hop onto Google, just look for the word jar, J-A-R, um, space media fire, or use the word rapid share next to jar, or files tube, files hunt, um, loading vault. It basically, you're looking for places where you can upload the file and then put the link to the file on an email and send the email to your mate because you can't attach the file to the email because it's too big. Um, Rapid Share has waiting limits, you've got to wait a, a minute before you can download. Media File seems to be unlimited downloads, unlimited, you don't have to wait or anything like that. Um, if you make sure you put the likes of Media Fire into Google along with the word jar, you're guaranteed to find places where you can actually download jar files. If your phone requires a JAD, a JAD file as well as a jar, don't worry about it. Just um, look on Google for a program called JAD Gen, J A D G E N, and JAD Gen dot exe. Um, all you do is you don't open the program, you just put it in a folder and you drag one jar file over the top of the program's icon and let go and it will create a matching jar file in the same folder as the jar. And that's it. Um, installing games using the phone's browser instead of messing about with your phone. Okay, the other thing you can do is once your game is actually installed, if you want to copy a number of jar files to your phone and just name them 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and so on, you don't need the file extension when you rename them on the phone. The um, phone automatically keeps the dot jar on the end of the file, so you just need to hold the 
backspace key. And keep hold until it's going to the whole menu and then press and hold 1 or press and hold 2 and then click OK. Once you've installed the game, you end up back on the browser with the web address at the top still, which is not really a web address, it's a file. And, the mount. and you click on that, you can edit it to which if you click by the 1 with your finger and your backspace and you just push and hold 2 and then you click go and run the game in so it's going to say no content found but it, it would have downloaded number 2 and then you just click at the top again click there just backspace hold 3 go again just install the games one and two. if the taco light just happens to be your flavour of phone um, I've also added a stack of wallpapers for the Toco Light, the split screen with the three images. And I've also put information about a wallpaper creator that also lets you create, create and edit original wallpapers. And on a note about the TK File Explorer, it's still not a dead launch because it allows you to extract information from the phone, such as wallpapers, depending on what network your friends on, you might be on a different provider, this phone might be locked and have its own personal wallpapers, and you can always grab a copy of them, it's, some phones will have five games and two of them are demos, and it varies on what models you buy, and who the provider is, to what games you get, you only need to extract jar file from the phone's memory, which you can break down from watching videos on how to install games with TK file as well, which I also don't recommend. You end up with half a game on the phone, which you can't delete. The computer tends to go nuts. If you don't know what you're doing, TK file as well is one to avoid from modifying the phone. If you're looking to just upload to the phone, not download, to remember taking an ultra phone upload to the PC and avoid all the download options on it and have a nose out but remember if you modify the contents of the phone you have to rebuild the file system going around all the weird menus with all the weird codes so my way is simply the best